The West Coast Main Line is the country's busiest mixed-use railway, carrying over 3 million passengers a day. But as those numbers continue to rise, and with the route at capacity within the next five years, a major bottleneck on the Stafford section of the line has seen Network Rail adopt a different approach to tackle the problem. We follow Nigel Barber, Communications Manager for Staffordshire Alliance, as he learns about the Stafford Area Improvements Programme, why these works are so important, Staffordshire Alliance's role in their delivery and how a truly collaborative approach is changing the face of infrastructure projects across the UK. So why is the West Coast Main Line such an important part of the UK's national rail network? Uh, we have a huge number of passenger and freight operators that use the route very, very intensively. Um, that's set to continue. Um, we forecast going into the next five or six years uh, that we will have some large capacity issues on the route in the sense that we are full. Um, now that's a good news story, but that probably reflects how important the route is to the country. As the person responsible for operational performance on the West Coast Main Line, what are the key challenges posed for you at Stafford? Big issues for us are reliability, reliability of our signalling asset and also reliability of our points. So we need to improve the reliability there to improve a much, much better service for our customers. So just how important is addressing the challenge at Stafford for the route? Well, it's definitely in my top ten and I'm looking forward to seeing it come out of my top ten in the next few years. And the solution? In order to deliver the outputs required by the Department for Transport for the introduction of the December 2017 timetable, Network Rail developed the Stafford Area Improvements Programme, a £250 million package of works based around three core projects. Line speed improvements between Crewe and Stafford. The wholesale resignalling of Stafford Station, including the installation of a new freight loop. The construction of six miles of new railway at Norton Bridge, including a new railway flyover, major bridge works and road, river and footpath diversions. But the question of how to deliver this multidisciplinary challenge remained, with the rail industry under intense pressure following the McNulty report to bring down the costs of major infrastructure projects. Nigel takes up the story with the Staffordshire Alliance leadership team. What was refreshing about it, Nigel, was that Network Rail were prepared to consult with the supply chain on the best solution in response to the challenges at Stafford. And in, in an extended period of consultation with Network Rail, we found a solution in Australia using the Victoria State model, uh, Project Alliance model. Uh, now, you, that, that model is a single contract between all parties. Uh, it's trust-based um, and, and is founded on collaboration. Uh, and is a single integrated model um, and one team. The alliance is made up of uh, Atkins, Langer Rock, Network Rail and Volker Rail. Uh, the teams have been working together in, in excess of a year on, the, on, the, on this bid and on this contract. And because of our existing working relationships and history of working together, we're already up and running. Tasked with the successful delivery of the £250 million Stafford Area Improvements Programme, Staffordshire Alliance's vision was clear. To transform the delivery of infrastructure projects. To define excellence through collaboration with a one-team, best-for-project mentality. To create a positive, lasting legacy for Staffordshire. Underpinning the vision are a clear set of values and behaviours. At the centre of these are passion and enthusiasm, trust, openness and honesty, respect, challenge and innovation and courage. But how are these values and behaviours actually translated in the workplace? The values and behaviours are through everything we do. Um, delivery, safety, quality, commercial, every aspect of the um, Alliance's work. Trust is really fundamental. Um, we've got an engineering organisation which has been built on um, uh, trust of the client and of the Alliance partners in, in individual engineers. Um, so it's really important that we pay back trust. We've got one set of goals, that we're all working together, and we have to work as one team. It's not individual elements within the team, it's just one team, one set of goals, and we're all working towards those goals together. To have everybody singing off the same hymn sheet, thinking the same, having a good understanding of working together as part of an overall team. They allow the individual companies to all work in the same manner to the same values and effectively come to the same conclusion very swiftly. It's really about the values and the respect, the openness, 
the transparency of people and that, that really underpins everything that we do. The values and behaviours have been chosen because they're aligned with the objectives and we see that if all of our staff adopt these through the delivery of the programme, the job will be a success. And not, not only that, but in the rail industry, it will be deemed world class. With a clear vision, values and behaviours in place, Staffordshire Alliance is ready to take on the challenges of delivering the Stafford Area Improvements Programme. But it's the Alliance's approach to collaboration that sets it aside from other joint ventures. Network Rail's Dominic Baldwin, the man responsible for the conception of Staffordshire Alliance, takes up the story. For the Staffordshire Alliance, collaboration is a carefully selected group of individuals and companies working together as one organisation with a common objective and a common identity. A major measure of success for the Alliance is how we perform against our key results areas. That means demonstrating strong safety leadership. That's about having the right behaviours on site and looking out for your colleagues. It's also about leaving a lasting legacy for the Staffordshire area. That relates to how we build it and how the infrastructure actually operates once we've left. Finally, it's about gaining the respect of our key stakeholders. That's from the train operators, network rail, right down to our line side neighbours. But what does collaboration actually look like for the Staffordshire Alliance and its industry partners? It's keeping all key stakeholders fully engaged and informed of progress, both of the project and of what Network Rail's vision is for the future. Collaboratively, we are bringing innovation to the project and we are introducing safety by design in Harden. We are trying to not only input the safety by design within this project, but also trying to build up culture within the design. We're looking for the supply chain to literally be an extension of the Alliance. We don't really want to have the uh, parameters of Alliance and supply chain. We want them to feel part of the Alliance. I mean, usually for us as a subcontractor, it's a master-slave environment. This, we're very, very much involved, and it's great to be involved. Let's create hundreds and hundreds of apprentices through the Alliance supply chain, with these organisations who are here today. And let's, let's, let's continue to make that grow, and I think that will grow over the next couple of years. I can't be there all the time, every day of the week, but these guys are highly critical to me. In my way, I see them as my eyes and ears on the ground. I've seen other jobs where there's no teamwork and, and it falls apart, but here there is quite a lot of teamwork emphasised. We put huge effort into the collaborative working and we can see already in the early stages of the programme the benefits from it. We've got to look at how we best best utilise people's resources, people's time and, and, and look at how we can save, save, save the, the railway money. I really admire the, the, the boundaries that are being pushed with uh, Network Rail and the Staffordshire Alliance in terms of that let's bring people into the industry, let's build those skill bases, let's build education. We need a closer working relationship with the Staffordshire Alliance to enable the project to build a railway that is both uh, efficient and it's reliable for our train operating companies and also the freight operating companies and ultimately the end user which is the travelling public. Collaboration is the way that we'll drive in value, drive out the waste, we'll improve, we'll create the efficiency, we'll take out the duplication and, the, and it'll give us that one team approach. In terms of the future of the, the project and collaborative working, it's absolutely ideal for us. We've got early engagement, we're working through the problems together, we're developing solutions and we will leave a legacy.